Friday. We're expecting a hell of a day. We aren't so bad in. Well, we're going to get it rough, but I think up north Scotland could see. Did he hear right? 250 mil of rain. That's 10 inch of rain. 10 inch of rain. That's a lot, isn't it? Um, in the day. Well, if they get that, Christ, they'll be flooded out. But is there any wonder we get flooded out when these water courses are like this? Look, this is held up. This, this is EA e, 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 e responsibility. And, and to be fair, I might get in trouble for what I'm going to do. But I'm going to clear all this out. I'm going to have a do at this with digger. I'm going to go get me digger now. And I'm going to I'm going to clean this bit out, stay out there, and I'm going to work down the street and I'm going to take all this mess out of it so it's got a free, fl a free, free a free way through. Because we've got a 10 acre there and it comes over just round the corner and floods us out. And job's knackered, we've got 10 acre of good looking barley underwater by tea town and I can see that happening. I mean, people are pissed off with it to be fair. I mean, the, the old organisation's a shower of shit. Send someone down to have a word with it. I mean, it's not rocket science. Occasionally you have to... Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's, if it's an environment for wildlife. But, I mean, it's holding water back from going down to the sea. I mean, this water eventually will get to the sea. And if it can't get to the sea, it comes out onto land. And it comes out into homes. And it ain't got, you know, you, it's called maintenance. These waterways have been cut by nature and then perfected by humans to do a job. And uh, if you can't do a job, well, the job's knackered, isn't it? So, I mean, aren't we pissed off? All landowners are pissed off. The, the, the Environment Agency, what do they actually do? Does a pound in ten get spent wisely? Or does it get spent on people walking about with clipboards doing absolutely fucking... <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just pissed off about it. And there's a, there's a likelihood that I'm going to get in trouble. Oh, you, that's our jurisdiction. You should have... Some, someone should have assessed it first. Why? Assessed it to do now. You know, anyway. Rant over.
this is where I was stood where other day where it was so windy and uh, just come to see what sort of job I've met because we were work I was working very very blind with digging because the uh, I mean there was that much bloody water you can see where the water was but where the water got to it even got up there at one point and got over uh, but yeah I just took the weed out and one thing or another and made it a bit of a better flow through so yeah and i must admit there will be a few frogs and fish and thing behave rolling perished but how much land's flooded and how much wildlife's perished on flooded uh, flooded land so i mean now i don't think i'll have to do this for a year or two because it's got a good flush through you know i've sort of straightened it up a little bit and uh well, it's not the prettiest of jobs, but yeah, quite pleased really. Morning, it's the 21st of October. Just had a look at rain gauge, 35 mil, and I tipped 11 mil out of it. What was the, what the day before gave us? And uh, yeah, very, very wet. Looking out onto these fields just in front of our house, though, actually, they are standing as much water as I expected. So, first impressions of what I'm looking at better than better than normal better than i expected anyway so i spent all day on digger yesterday digging back out because well we'd have had it was starting to come out come up halfway through the day's rain so we sort of dug our stretch out and uh, yeah probably paid off but shoved the problem further on down straight stream but when i'd finished it went from slow moving sort of gurgling up and pushing up out, out at corners and you know it was nearly coming over when I'd finished it was running half as deep twice as fast so when the environment agencies sort of realised this well you know they need to do same to all rivers which I don't know it's alright building flood banks but don't, wouldn't they be better digging some out of the bottom it's like your teapot if you never took your tea bags out you'd never get no water in would you See what we've got, we've got the beck come over, over there, flooding this land out. See what I did yesterday with Digger, I cleaned all this out. All this got, uh, I went down it with our Digger and look how, how well it's flowing. down here and bung the culvert under our track so what we'll have to do is uh, is go get digger and I'll just cowl it out yeah it's flooding into there so which isn't a really massive problem because that's fallow anyway once sorted we'll sow it but sort it but <coughs> that's destined for spring calm because of uh, it's black grass issues yeah that's but rest of it no I haven't I'm pretty impressed with how it's fared. This is this barley land here is uh, is uh, it looks in good order. I a lot of study, but we now we can do a lot that. But yeah, I reckon by tea time tonight it'll be okay.
what I was bunging it up, look. And where we go. massive great lump here coming see it's started to come back in from out of the field into the field now some fairy water coming down now. Trouble is this day here they've extended, extended our local town and we get a lot more surface water than we used to down this day. This day was built for uh, ours and Green's farm next door and now every hour oh, on well, Thursdays across the uh, main road side and now everybody seems to be tapping into it for one thing or another well you have to sort of well ask or compensate yeah, we'll dig a bit of trench here and see what's what. It's coming uh, back in as nearly as fast as it went, it came out. But there's a massive great hold up in front of us here. So whether that'll keep mosing its way down where I can dig that out. Because I don't fancy tracking digger down here, I'll make a right mess. I don't think that's for going far, do you? That ain't gonna go where we want it. So I'll have to track digger down here, but trouble is it's backing up into the fields here. We do have a gripper on back at uh, tractor. We do, you know, wet holes. Officially, I don't know whether you're allowed to, but we'd be flooded out if we didn't do that. Um, all surface water sort of naturally comes down to dike off the, sur you know, through them uh, grips my dad puts in. But yeah, I've some bloody hell, I'm gonna make a mess here. Must have fished about maybe four or five ton out and there's well there's a lot going that way whether that's going to feed its way through the culvert under the road and blast its way down to Beck or whether I have to chase that down but I might as well go to the top and make sure there's no other hold ups while I've got digger here actually I've made a bit of a mess but not as bad as I thought but bah, there's some water coming down this uh, this day but all in all I'm quite pleased how th this land has, has held up to it you know I think what we're doing now with the big tractor and the machines what you can pull them properly you know like at depth you are carrying them all the time just to pull them you know just pulling them uh, at a constant depth like I said I think it, our land's in better condition but I don't know direct drilling I don't know I think I think your land needs not beating to death but I think it needs a bit more preparation than just sticking a bloody seed in a slot yeah there's some wet land in here and actually it's uh, withstood it really well but yeah this is one of them grips what my dad's pouring but it just needs deepening at this end to take that surface water what's at the end but if we ain't had this grip because this will run most at night if we ain't have had that grip in I would say there'd be two acre of uh, water there so but yeah there's little puddles all over but I think they'll go see this is some uh, TARDIS barley and Christ it seems to be suiting our land so far it just so, looks so healthy a bit thick if out but I'd rather have a thick established crop like that at this time of year than these what are just sort of germinating. I think they'll be okay, but they don't want to be uh, stood in water for too long. 
Turn around, it'll come back with a shovel down here. This 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 land here was is supposed to be drilled with winter barley. It's getting late enough for winter barley, I would say. And I think I don't know. I think it's beaters to be honest. I think this season's beaters on every land. I don't think we're gonna get much more drill to be honest. Unless God is good and gives us three weeks of nice blowy weather, but look at the water running off the uh, the fields we've had 45 millimeter of rain and oh god it's horrendous absolutely horrendous i mean i'm gonna with the field how we're only drilled well we battled on to be honest uh, we were still drilling at one o'clock in the morning oh we finished at one o'clock in the morning we got back in the yard about half one and uh, to be honest, the next two days was dry, so we wasted our time, but it was forecast rain anyway. I'm expecting walking over here and it just being a lake. Because all water, all water sort of runs down hill and congregates in bottom, and I think it'd be a right mess, but we'll go see. God, I'm knackered. It's only a little bit of an hill. I'm buggered going hard. Actually, got a pleasant surprise on the hill. He's in real good fettle, actually, but all, it's all run off the hill into this bottom. But it must be escaping from somewhere because uh, I thought it'd be stood about three acre of water here, but it's disappeared. But sort of looking down from up there, though, I don't know. We ought to have had a bit more of a plan with this field. I'm thinking next year, drill two 24 metre headlands on this end and put one of them gullies right down middle to to, to the to the dike and get rid of a hell of a lot of that surface water as it comes down the hill sort of thing you know just do 224 meter uh, headlands i mean it'd be about to here well that would eliminate all this wet place you know but you'd just be turning here rather than there if that makes sense yeah that's a good plan Maybe we'll put that into practice next year. This was sort of thinking about going in with oil C rape, but it ain't gonna happen. It really ain't gonna happen. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just a nightmare, isn't it? Sick of talking about oil C rape with my neighbours and one thing and another and friends and people you meet. Christ, everybody's jacking out there. Might be the uh, year to stick at it. Yeah, water's sort of heading the right direction down here. Made a right mess spraying it, I did, as you can see. Yeah, loaded up with 3,000 litre of water, didn't do a recce. Come and it had pissed it down here, absolutely chucked it down and fine at base. And come and made such a mess, but yeah. But yeah, water's sort of heading right direction. Down here, and I think my dad's done a grip here into the dike to get rid of this surface water. Because there's not only rainwater, there's springs in this field as well. Yeah, and away it goes, you see. So, but now what I'm meaning is gullies like that down here, down this way, in between the tram lines, to take the surface water. No, to be fair, after yesterday's rain, I thought we'd have a absolutely and listening to it rain all well all last night and still raining this morning i thought we'd have an absolute disaster but to be fair i think we we did right battling on next last week before this 47 mil of rain came because i think as long as they're in no more in the next couple of days i think this will take it and uh, everything's starting to sort of plump up and germinate and germinate as well it ain't just pumping up so it's at a stage that I think it might survive as long as it doesn't get no more. So right, right, if you like this channel, Saturday night I'm for a pint, I'm off into York for a pint. So if you like this channel, like and subscribe. Rufford Farm in East Yorkshire. 
battling on, same as everybody else. Well, good luck everybody else with your uh, drilling campaign, because yeah, it's not been easy, has it? I don't know whether we'll get much more, to be honest, but yeah, crack on when you can. Right, bye for now.